Hey guys, this is Jace over here at Why Ink Marketing. Today we're, I'm going to show you how to set up a full video marketing campaign um, just using AdWords. So this is for TrueView ads, in-stream ads, in-display, and I'm going to show you a certain type of audience. So it's called in-market audience, and I will discuss a little bit about that in a second. So jump onto your AdWords campaign, make sure you have an account open, and then we're going to click here and go create our first campaign. Then you'll see here there's this drop down that says search network with display. What we want to do is go down to online video. Wait for this to open up. And there we have it. So we're going to call this okay, existing video. We're going to say we're going to put in $100 a day on this. Now, right here you have YouTube search YouTube videos include the Google Display Network. Now, if you are going after particular keywords, what you want to do is check off YouTube videos and include the Display Network. Okay, I just like to leave that at YouTube search, but since we're doing an in market, I'm going to leave everything up and I'll explain in market in a second. We're going to go United States and Canada. Okay, video, you just go over here to YouTube, grab the video, put it in here. Okay, that's actually a really good thumbnail. Okay, our URL we're going to put, make sure I have this website right, right there. Leave the thumbnail as is. So this is the product that we're going to do right here, nasal spray. Okay, so let's look for some benefit words. Whenever you're writing AdWords campaigns, you want to make sure you, in this top line you kind of lay out there benefit. I also like to throw in things like symbols. Okay. Nasal spray. Let's find some keywords here. 100% money back. That's a good one. Um, I might have to go back and play with that ads. Now you can see kind of what they look like. So you have right here, this is um, in search. This one's search. And in stream. So this is a in display, in display, in display. A, a true view ad is the ones that actually show before the video, which there was an example up here when we put it in. Okay. Oh, right here. So this is your in-stream. So this will play right before videos, okay? And then it also comes with a companion batter, banner ad, which pops up right here to the right, okay? And Google will just take your videos from your channel, and they will build out an image for that. Or you can put whatever image you'd like there. Okay, I'm going to decrease mobile. I like to lower mobile just because I've seen my kids click on a lot of ads and they don't mean to when they're playing around with phones. And a lot of times video, uh, breathe, dang it, they didn't like that exclamation point at the end. Okay, so we're going to call this in display. Now I will show you guys how to do the keywords, the remarketing and all that, but right now we're just doing in display. I'm going to put a cost of $0.12 cents per view. So that's if somebody watches your video after 30 seconds, you then get a view. Now, th this is important. You don't want to create a video that's less than 30 seconds. Say if you create a 15-second video, if they watch it to the end of the video, that counts as a view. Well, what you're trying to do on YouTube, you're trying to get an audience that will that is interested in your product. If somebody's willing to watch your video out to say 45 seconds to one minute, you know you have an interested buyer. So what I like to do is make sure you extend your videos past that 30 second mark. Okay, now gender, we're gonna leave all the gender in here. This is where it gets interesting. Okay, so here's our interest. So you have affinity audiences and you have in-market audiences. Let me explain the difference. Big brands like your Fords, Oracles, Geico, those guys will oftentimes just do an infinite, infinity audience. That means they're just blasting it out there. They're just, it, it's very broad. Okay. Um, most people, I don't suggest that they do that. 
what you want to do is do an in-market audience. You want to find those people who are looking for your product and service. Okay, this is new. It's not like it just got, st well, it basically did just get started. Um, they changed it, I think, a couple weeks ago. Okay, so the, it's only going to get better. I wonder if we can even find the exact match for the audience. If it's not here, it probably will be soon. So we need to go down through here and see what we can find as far as in-market audiences. Okay, you can see you have activewear, you have handbags, men's apparel, swimwear, okay, auto repair, accessories, maintenance. I have actually some clients I should have done some auto repair for them. Okay, you have beauty products. So we're going to add all beauty products here just because that could it could be in the beauty products consumer electronics, dating services, business services, gifts and occasions, not going to be there. Home and garden, you might have some good ones here. Software, sports and fitness, that's a good one if you're in the golf industry. Okay, internet service provider, travel, so hotel industry, things like that. Um, we're going to go beauty products on this one. That's as close as we're going to get. Like I said, th Google just barely came out with this a couple weeks ago. So their in-market audience is very limited. Now, like I said, in-market audience means that they are searching for your product or service. That somewhere, somehow, they've gone out there and Google has tracked them. Now, remember, everything you're doing from web browser, if you're using Chrome, from web browser to email to search... Google is cookie Google cookies your computer and they're tracking everything you're doing from what videos you're watching and they're finding hey this person is very interested in this so let's say you go out and you're looking for a nasal spray immediately Google is going to track that and they and they will start showing your ads okay so basically we're going to just choose uh, beauty products and services right now obviously this interests might not work really well with this nasal spray. We might need to go back and do a keyword, which we do. So I'm just showing you how this in market works. Okay. I don't want to narrow the target any more than that. I'm going to save the target. And I need to link my channel. So I just, I will do that later when I grab the email address for that. I'm going to go finish. And now it wants me to set up billing. Okay. So that is it. That Once I set up my billing, that campaign is going to be up and running. Now remember, there are those other things that you do need to set up. So that is an in-display. Later on, I'm going to show you guys how to do a keyword one. I'm going to show you how to do a remarketing one. And what else? Placements. That's a big one. So we got keywords, placements remarketing and then you can go with the infinity audience if you want so there's a lot of mix and matches you can do okay that's it hope you enjoyed it you can lose you can Question spend is, not lose you can spend a lot of money on well, youtube ads do pigs fly? if you're not careful <laughs> you have to realize there's some some of these videos are getting millions of hits a day and if you're allowing your video to be played on those you're not going to get here. a good ROI. Video marketing so puts your message in front of the perfect audience. Very strict here at Wyoming, ads. we create okay, and rank videos to page one of United Google States and YouTube. Canada. So Let's go over why here is video marketing so important? Because you can get the message across video quickly for this. using images, text, sound, emotion, and more. It helps you create a better face for your company as well as